We shall see. Julie, thank you very much. Julie Banderas. My next guest supports this movement 100%. She already does uh, her banging with a credit union. Heather McGee is the DC director for Demos. Uh, Heather, um, I didn't look in what your group is trying to do, and I don't think you realize um, the dangerous thing you could be doing. You could be encouraging massive bank runs, which generally are not good. Does that worry you? So, just to be clear, I'm not, my group is Demos, which is a public policy organization. But you agree with this, you agree banking. with what they're doing, sure, right? yeah. Like millions of Americans who say, you know what, I want to know that when I put my money in the bank, it's going to serve my community, it's going to small businesses, it's going to help the, finance the American dream for my neighbors and my community, and not going to what big banks do, which is spend so much of their money on lobbying, on predatory lending. They actually invest about $3 billion a year in payday lending, which is just legalized loan sharking. They're doing well, uh, right, speculative trading We can go back and forth about what the money you know? center banks do with their money. I mean, they do exactly. give a lot well, to communities, but let's be fair about this. Dollar but for no, dollar, step back, small step back. banks give so you, much more well, to small fine, businesses fine. than let's large Let's say banks. you're right, which well, you're not, by the way, but let's say what <laughs> happens now is you get what you wish, and that yeah. is a run on the banks. Everyone takes their money out of Bank of America. Everyone starts taking their money out of Wells Fargo. Everyone starts taking their money out of Citigroup. Third world ring a bell, do you? <laughs> First of all, I think it's pretty clear that the large banks who have, you know, Bank of America has one out of every three customers in this country. What I think people really want with the Move Your Money movement is for some accountability. There's a real feeling like they crashed the economy. Uh, they're foreclosing on my neighbors, uh, you know, who are unemployed because of that financial crash or because of a terrible loan. That wait, was, wait, wait, wait. You, you say they totally crashed the economy? Does Washington... Under either party's control, have anything to do with it, or is it all those Absolutely. evil bankers? Absolutely, I think there's a lot. I think there's a lot of frustration um, the, about the nexus between Washington and Wall Street. You're seeing that both from the Tea Party and the Occupy Wall Street movement. So you would it's rather go. Wait a minute. You would rather go to credit unions and community banks that have favored tax treatment, courtesy Washington, <laughs> than individual institutions that have much more money and are giving much more money to the very community causes you hold dear. I'm not an apologist for the banks, but I, I, was about I to don't say, think you're you know like what a... you're supporting. You're supporting a potential run on the very banks that do a lot of the stuff you want. Um, I know exactly what the big banks are doing with their money. Um, it's very, very clear that dollar right, then for let me, dollar, let me ask small you banks do you know and how much unions Bank of America, more to small businesses. Do you know how much Bank of America gave to communities and community lending in general last year? Absolutely, because they are a behemoth bank. They can say we gave hundreds billion of dollars. millions of dollars. 11 exactly. billion dollars. Do you but know how much for Wells dollar? Fargo gave to minority businesses last year? Now, Neil, this is very Seven interesting billion that you're dollars. really taking the side so, no, 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 of the two no, no. big to fail bailout anyway. banks. I'm just telling you, when yeah. you w urge people to pull money out of these institutions, it's for what they're money. doing bad, it's but, our wait, wait, money. you are also <laughs> telling them to pull money out of the institutions for all they're doing good. I, I think you're really making sort of a facile argument here. It's very clear that it the is American a people have I the right. I just gave you those facts. They, they have the, oh, I said a facile argument, but they have the right to do what they want in their money with their money and have it reflect okay. their values. If I want to go to a credit union that I know doesn't do payday lending, that I know doesn't do predatory lending, that I know isn't paying their CEO hundreds of millions of dollars. You think a credit union has the resources to give to these enterprises you value nearly as much as some of these big banks? Well, here's the key. Here's what we can see, is that when we have the threat of actually some real consumer choice, banks can stop doing some of the practices. They'll feel the heat. And maybe they will say, okay, great, we're doing all, all these great things. Do you think they're things. all evil? They're doing all these great things for communities, but they're also investing in payday lending. Okay. They're also okay. foreclosing right. and doing robo-signing. And so that's what consumer accountability can create, is that they'll stop some of these right. practices. I'm not saying I want all these banks to go out of business, but I do want them to do business that's good for America. Heather, thank you very much. Thanks to you. All right, John.